our um, meetings this year and our meet in May of uh, 23. Um, so Charlie, uh, how are we doing money-wise? Okay, uh, pretty good. Uh, basically our assets, uh, we have $31.51 in the cash account, $3,852.36 in the checking account, $14,180.73 in the money market account, and $119.38 in the PayPal account for a total of $18,183.98. Great. Uh, how are the calendar sales? Uh, good. I guess, who are we up to? Like a, 105 or so have been paid for so far. Great. That uh, basically we, we sold like an initial 35 to SEPTA. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, yeah. Rod, Roger Bopas, he takes, I think he took like 43. Oh. He, he has, I think, a summer house in Maine. So I think he gives some of them to his neighbors in Maine oh. and then takes the rest. Then I think he's active in the Northern Virginia Modelers Group. Okay, cool. And I think he takes the rest down to them. And, uh, and, uh, um, and then we had a couple orders come through where people looked, you know, on the website and found the information. So we had a few orders come in. Um, and we signed the right. contract for uh, Allentown. Allentown yeah. And May. yeah. Yeah. So that's taken care so of. So they have the deposit. Yeah. Right. Um, just have to get together a flyer for. Um, you know, next train meets so we can get our um, ourselves out there. People get aware of what's going on. Uh, also, we need to put um, some advertisements out there in other venues on our Facebook page, on our uh, East Penn website page. And um, I, I opened up an Instagram account. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm more familiar with Instagram, but a lot of you have Younger folks are into that, and I think uh, you know putting stuff in that venue will also help us get the word out to other. other Steve, folks. what's the date of the next trolley meet? Uh, that's I think it's the nineteenth, eighteenth, and sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. That's the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. And it's on the calendar. Yeah. Okay. That we have the 19th and 20th, right. the Friday and Saturday marked on the calendar. Right. Now, the setup is the 18th. Right, setup is the 18th. 2023, right? 2023. Right. Any questions so far? Okay, um, let's go into the, um, the um, prototype news. Anybody got any prototype news? Testing is going on at Honolulu on their elevated light rail system. Oh. Maybe we can take a trip out there. Huh? <laughs> um, anything else? Some of you guys uh, probably know out here in Pittsburgh, PRT has moved to Pittsburgh. Uh, Port Authority is now uh, Pittsburgh Regional Transit. They paid a consultant about $175,000 to come up with that one. Yeah, and, and it still doesn't go anywhere outside of the region that it served two weeks ago. <laughs> yep, set with that one, George. Yeah, some, well, you know, we have this director. Uh, she's gone to come from a lot of different systems. And, uh, you know, she feels 
nobody knows why a port authority runs the transit system. Now, I don't know why anybody cares. Uh, she said the buses are all different colors and that confuses the hell out of people. Um, I think it confuses her more than anything else. Uh, so they paid $175,000 that could have been used to help my pension uh, to come up with this different name. Uh, the, the counties around us still have their own transit system and they do not want to merge at all. They're all afraid, of course, Pittsburgh would get the lion's share of the service. Classic real fan question. Does this mean there'll be a new color scheme? Well, the buses are bearing a new color scheme now. Although, <laughs> uh, according to the new, and they're hard to see. They're certainly not very bright. It's a very dark color. Um, it says that it would take about seven years to convert all of the signage, uh, the bus colors, whatever they do for the light rail. And if we all know how transit systems work, this lady could be gone in seven years or less. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah she's, back the one, she's the one that was hired by the uh, uh, the current county executive to replace Steve Bland. Of course, was it Dan Adorado's man? So uh, anyway, it's that we are now PRT. I don't know if there's a copyright for the old PRT, but um, but we're PRT. And I got a letter today as a retiree, and it was funny, and I don't know if they're sending this out to everybody. Um, one page letter telling us they're doing work on the ventilation system in the tunnel, and it's going to take longer than they thought. And, and uh, you know, the funny thing is you read the whole letter, it's PRT logo, and everywhere through the letter, it's, you know, uh, Pittsburgh Regional Transit, till you get down to customer service. It says, for customer service, call Port Authority, and then the phone number. They haven't really checked everything. Mm. That sounds great. Anyway, that is anyway, the news out here. Any other pretty tech news? For you fellows who know the uh, in Toronto, the Roncesvalles King Queen intersection by Roncesvalles Car Barn, the uh, the tracks all in overhead <clears throat> not yet up, but the all brand new every which way total um, uh, intersection. So are all the street cars on detour now because of that construction? Or? <laughs> Most off rather than on. The uh, the whole West End is off. Um, like uh, the, the Queen car only goes part way to Spadina. The uh, the King car 504, it goes over to the old Duffer and Loop, but that's it. But uh, everything else West is there is uh, off. They have to replace the, uh, the tracks on King sooner or later and of course, that's the only line that still has the poles. The rest of the lines uh, are all set up for the bounds. It'll be pretty good when it's finished. It should be done probably by October. Uh, the car should be back out to Long Ranch by then. I think, I think they're probably running about a third of the fleet right now. Buses everywhere else. Any other prototype news? Okay, uh, how about any model news? Brian Weissman has recently released both an HO and O, the Shaker Heights 
1200 series cars, the center entrance cars. 3D prints. Yeah, I saw them on, uh, online, it looked pretty good. Any other model news? Rich, any uh, update on the, um, the Bowser cars? Yes, they're coming in the future. <laughs> <laughs> not, not stuck in a container somewhere? Uh, any other model news? Okay. Oh, apparently uh, Volkmar is working on an O scale version of the Shorefast cars. Open floor. See my and box new there. layout modules working. <laughs> oh, it's sort of. Nothing oh. else is working. The other old modules are not working. <laughs> well, it's, it's always how it happens, right? Yeah, I got a month to fix it. I, I uh, since Rich is pointing you guys at me, I have some news. Today is a celebration. Richard Allman turns 80 today. And don't let him I say did, he, No, I did 79. Oh, yeah. Today is the 40th anniversary of my 39th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Just like two years ago when you put it in the newsletter. Don't rush it. Yeah. Next year you can do it. <laughs> Getting old, Rich. And then in 19 years, we're going to put in that you're 100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll notice. <laughs> I got to sign out, guys. Have a great evening. All right, congrats. Congrats. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right, uh, open floor for any, any other uh, news or um, announcements? Alfred Goss. Alfred? Yeah, um, Alfred Goss. His memorial service is when? October 1st. October 1st. Of those what? what 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 Alfred Goss he passed away what was it um the official date I think it was July 3rd July 3rd East Penn member mm -hmm. his memorial service is October 1st at the uh, Elkins Park train station right yes yeah who are you talking about? Alfred. Al oh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Any other uh, announcements or um, concerns that anybody wants to bring up? On the floor. Going to talk a little bit about next month's meeting. At, the, at Bob, Bob Dietrich's down in Delaware. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We, we, we're going to do the same type of thing. So Hopefully I can stay then. home and be on Zoom. <laughs> you can be in the other room. <laughs> oh, yeah. While we're in the train room, you can be in the other room. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, we're going to try to have a, a little more continuity with the Zoom, um, uh, probably a tripod or something uh, down there with uh, uh, facing the layout room and also we, where we can speak in front of it. Okay. I, I'm just, what, what I want to do is keep everybody downstairs. Yeah. All right. There's still COVID going around. Rich Allman has it right now unless he got rid of it this week. Um, and I don't want to get it. My wife doesn't want to get it. I don't care about the dog. But I, I just keep everybody downstairs as much as possible. 
um, get donuts, I'll put them downstairs. We can have a you know Easter hunt or something like that to find the donuts. Um, I'm not sure what else I want to say. You could come in and out the back door if you want. If it's a nice night, uh, you, you have to walk down the side of the building. If it's not nice, come in the front door and we'll hustle you downstairs. That sounds good. Okay. That's all I got. All right. Um, Except for Almond's 80th. Yes. Next, I guess, um, maybe. When, when's the next uh, train show? October. Do we have any presence in the uh, next train show? Probably not. Uh, I'm wondering, are we really going to the helicopter museum? And, and who's, who's bringing modules? You got to contact Dave with that to see what's, what's available. Um, I'll reach out to him offline to see see what's if there's any interest. I mean, it was interested to go down. Right? Yeah, yeah. Of, that's a good question. Who's bringing what? Mm -hmm. um, and I think yeah, what somebody said, Gary Rain is maybe interested because it's not too far from Gary. Okay. I think that's where the helicopter museum is. It's sort of like the Exton side of Westchester. It's right off of the 202, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's not that far. I mean, and apparently they got space for a lot more. Yeah, yeah. So we could bring HO or O. It's just a matter of what we're bringing. We so just have to coordinate that. I can I can bring my loop and my corner. That's all I have anymore that is out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we'll have um the next business meeting. <clears throat> try to get in contact with Dave and try to work things out. Okay. Um. Anything anybody else wants to bring up? Okay. Balance is golden. Well, how many modules are we planning to, are you guys planning to, to set up down there? We set up a figure out. Sure. We start to figure that out. We got to get okay. in contact with Dave and, and see who's available, who wants to do what. Just HO or? Uh, uh, we got enough space for HO, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess, um, are we going to have a presentation? Thank you, Trixie, next to you on this line? I don't know. Gotta figure it out too. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess this is a, uh, you know, our theme for this year. I just want to bring this up that we're trying to get new members into the club. So we're going to try to reach out in different ways, social media, other ways to get some new uh, members in the club, uh, drum, up, drum up some interest in our club. Uh, we're just, you know, we're traction, which means that we're trolleys, anything that works off of electricity, uh, that could be light rail, heavy rail, um, trams, trolleys, uh, even down to mining equipment. Um, but that's, that's our realm, that's our niche. And we need to get that out there. That that's what we're all about. 
So if anybody has any ideas of how to drum up more um, membership, you know, reach out to us. Uh, we'll pick those ideas. Well, I guess and, what is Doug just joined us yeah. there? Yeah, I did. Those ideas and run with them. Hey, Doug. Hey. Do you have any uh, model news or prototype news to, to share with the group? Nope. All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining. I'm going to try to um, broadcast from the other room when we go back in there. Um, Hopefully there's not any interference for those that want to hang on. Um, welcome to uh, also you know, welcome to talk amongst yourselves while you have this time slot. Thanks everybody for coming. You're making dinner, Doug. What's that? Oh, wow. No, no, we actually came. We got we got called to a uh, surprise wedding tonight. Uh, hey, yeah, this, this couple's been they've been dating for ten plus years. They got engaged about a year ago, and they decided to just do a quickie wedding. We found out about it yesterday. Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, so in a park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you spent the day at shopping, right? No, no, Any I had not work today. Yeah. yeah. So I usually don't work Fridays, but we went to North Carolina last weekend, so I, I didn't work my usual schedule. I didn't want to drive home on Monday. So, did so I miss anything exciting? It's Rich's 80th birthday. <laughs> Whose Nobody, birthday? Nobody's picking up on that, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard Rich has COVID. Yeah, he had it for a week and a half, I think. Well, I, I, I didn't hear today if he got a negative. Did anyone hear if he got a negative result? Yeah, this, he said he's going to get tested this weekend. To okay. see what to see if he's clear or not. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> he said his, his wife also had it as well. Yeah. yeah lovely. <laughs> yeah, well we both we both got it when we went to France, but <laughs> a little less convenient than getting it at home. <laughs> So, so is there any more information on that the helicopter thing in December? We, we, we brought it up and I don't know. Um, Steve said talk to somebody, but I didn't catch the name. Oh, uh, okay. It's a U.S. modules that they want to display. <laughs> yeah, Dave, the uh, module coordinator. Dave Gallagher, yeah. Okay. He's setting setting up or at least telling us who is available uh, or at least trying to promote it. Okay. I'll have to contact Dave, but I mean, what days is it going to be? Is it just a weekend thing? Or just um, one day? <laughs> I think it is the weekend, right? I don't know. Cause I got a module I want to get finished before that. I don't know if I'll make it. I got a lot to do. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I don't get much done in the summer because we're down the shore all the time. <sighs> yeah, take it with you. Well, I I did some stuff down there, but I there's a lot I can't do, you know, yeah. without hauling a whole bunch of stuff back and forth. 
Yeah. Most, mostly I worked on a, a Berkshire Hills car for Ed, <laughs> which I finished today. <laughs> and you know what? It's not nearly as much fun the second time. <laughs> But at least you don't have to think a whole lot. <laughs> you just do what you did before. According to the newsletter, December 2nd is going to be a setup, and the third and fourth is going to be the module operation. Oh, uh, okay. The, the second is. Uh... Oh. Okay, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right, that gives me two and a half months. <laughs> so how many people showed up at Charlie's? Anybody? Besides Steve? I think just one or two others besides yeah. Steve. <laughs> I was considering going over there, but then this wedding thing happened, so that was the end of that. <laughs> well. We're just waiting for them to show up again. They were going to the other room. Yeah, yeah. I I caught the tail end of that. <laughs> so actually, was, there was one thing I wanted to to, to do, and that was to because uh, Rich kind of posed this question, and I. Volkmar is working on O scale Linux City and Shore design. And I, I don't know, I don't know how many, how many we're, what kind of quantity we're looking at. So I know, I know uh, three people, probably four, including myself, that would probably get one. But that's uh, John Nicholson, Jim Dornberger, and me. <laughs> and I'd be shocked if Ed didn't want one. I don't know who else. Yeah. Yep, I'll bring this up there. 
all the way. You're going to go to the you've got a thousand of salary range. See, and my generator is doing good because yeah, oh, I couldn't get out the door. And the deck was all messed up, right? Yeah. Did I have to roll the sound in the back and then connect it to the hose, connect the gas in front, and then the wire there. Natural gas? Was that? Natural yeah, this works on natural gas. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or propane. Fortunately, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I think there are one way of end. Hey, Charlie. Charles. Tell Steve some of what you did. I heard him earlier. You said was, he was working on um, the extension of the express tracks from Avenue to Long. I remember he was doing that when I was in high school. I was surprised that they had to move in concrete. Yeah, 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 they had to move in concrete. Story in 1979. Mm -hmm. I was in the city. Yeah, so I basically did everything. See, I used a bolster. I tried to go to a high degree. Screws off as I go by the side there. Mm -hmm. I was in a single gang for the year. And then I was in the building. And then I was in there. And then I was in there. I designed things for the public. For the grocery store, but for the one that's signed, it was on the top of my feet, the regional rail, all that stuff. So, most of the stuff that we want to know is that we had racks and racks of new items that were on the top of the map, and sat in the front of the room. So, I know it's like we're at Juniper Street, all the same, and it's on the city wall. And then, um, where the Charleston County is going. Yeah, you Missing, they record the kids, mm -hmm. track the far inside, they're up to them. 
Second in Wyoming, you know, since the beginning. Right. So, and there's a full store with cables under it and all, you know, so I got a moving truck and we're now down and stuff, you know. And he goes, I want you to move Red Arrow and stuff now, North End. So they're a bit out of it. They're sitting at the market. But this place, the cream factor, uh, whatever, was up high. So we get a forklift truck and pull this stuff out. So I'm going to do that. So, but Probably the best thing that I like that we did in house was 34th and Lolo, where it's a relays, you come like a process box in there. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. actually made a model board for it so you can see what Charlie's work. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we did all in house, it was just part of the mm -hmm. so No subcontractors, no consultants, or anything. We did it. So you, you guys are all relays totally? We have backups. Like sometimes we'll get a lot of, we don't have backup from like process. You know, it's that it's all zones, you know, between track one, two, three, four, whatever. We have zones and stuff. You know, so something cracked out. We have some places. Some places like New York and stuff, they have besides microprocess, they have frost stuff, they got really also in the backup. Right. Or is when the box goes good. But they're it's, it's we have like if anything's noisy for the front end of this mm -hmm. stuff, we put relays in there bomb right there. Yeah. So we'll pick up a relay and we'll contact the black in the microprocessor. So it's always a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know if you ever heard of the most oh. relay. Have you ever yeah. heard of the ball Yeah. 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 You got to watch that oil yeah. stuff. In fact, I've been, waiting, I've been waiting for a specific tower to go out of service because of a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So all the so seconds of cool little round yeah. balls that's yeah. around. <laughs> and let's, let's contact them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know who thought of that. Kind of thing, but, you know, those, those were pretty good. There was no, you know, CAD guys and engineers and like and, and you know computers to figure all stuff out. They yeah. did. They did. They did all the time. Yeah. Some, some of those relays are big. On Broadway, they're just all like that. Yeah, they sit in that old glass box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the glass box is, is so interesting. It, it has like you know molding on it. Then it has a little stamp on the side. It does Mm -hmm. yeah, that seal, I'm not glad, but I'm far. So when you're done with the relay, it's the socket. They would pour um, the far stuff in there. They would stamp it. So if anybody messed with it, tried to open it up, they would pull the tar and that's something they just don't tamp it. Oh, yeah, yeah. What got me is that all the wires are black. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how do you know what's this? No, because it's high. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, they're all black. Uh -huh. yeah. No color code. The place the joke at the town guys. The town guys are like, no, we're comms on it. I see your bullshit. What's going to happen? You get dial tone or dizzy tone. If we mess up our wire, you get a train on the ground. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you got red and black. How can you mess it up? Red and green. You know? <laughs> Tip and green. Uh, you know? Yeah. No, I really like that. So, but yeah. for our stuff, it's nomenclature. So we have tags. So the top one says to where you're at right now, then the name of the of the circuit, and the bottom one is from. Mm -hmm. So you know where you're at, you know. And same thing, like on relay. We have they call the contact or you know, contact, front heel back. So when it relays down, it's on a, it's on its back. When it picks up, it's on the front like that. Mm -hmm. So that's how you know so like a relay will be like, you know, three front, two back or something. Like what is that? Mm -hmm. Three front contact or two back contact. We had relays, all that sophisticated. 
we have relays for time. And it was sent out a pulse. So the, the coder we have, 75 coder relay. And it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But this relay had like a year and like a team and a call. So when we get the, it would go like a step. We just keep on going up the gear like that. And when we finally get up far enough, we check up the contact. And we know that code that would be. And with no code, we stop there. It's pretty, you know, I, I did a lot of stuff because I was, I was still on market. So, because I did Lolo, I was really proud of that. It's probably about the best thing, you know, you can make from scratch, but I didn't do it. You lay for the boxes for a few parts. So it's all the gangs, you know. So I, I wasn't a gang in engineering, so I know what that. I, I pretty much know like every location that I was there. When you design stuff, it'd be nice to know what's out there when you design it, but I, Wall Street Market Frankfurt subway service. I was in all the places. So I knew. So I told the guys and guys. You know, I says, so Ludlow, I says, when I leave, I like to like, you know, name Ludlow after me. And he goes, I think that would be dead first. You know? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's it. Ludlow is a busy place. Mm -hmm. I used to hold them all up. Because we work in the property, we track wires and connections and signals mm -hmm. and stuff. I think I always yeah. have a supervisor. Yeah. Nobody has to do that. Okay, do that. Yeah, it's like they yell that sometimes. <laughs> so, but yeah, you try to do something that tracks, and you always tell you sitting there. Like, you know, wait a minute. You know, we you got a tool like stuck in the, in the track or something, and I get it out, or we're going to derail you. So, mm hang -hmm. on there, you know. At one point, we actually, because we would make our own slow zone for work. Hmm. Now it's like, you need a slow zone on top of a slow zone and a watchman and, and a flagman. And then we would just like do stuff. But when, I, when it starts there, we had kerosene lanterns and we put them out. We had yeah. yellow red. <laughs> yeah. Charlie would go by and blow it out. Oh. We go back and relight it. So <laughs> we did. You, you guys are going to tell me next year. I'm not really about my painting. You know, it's not going to happen. The railroad is. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I was a little bit of 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 a little bit because when SEPTA took over the railroad back in the early 80s, they didn't know what they had. Some of these guys were like, oh, we didn't send this stuff for a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, we're going to find the FRA already. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. We just put in for DBase. DBase 3. Stop the giant spread. Put it right in the know, When did you do this? When did you do that? When did you do ground test? When you do, you know, well, see, when it goes in here, that's the thing. So, and we're definitely interested. Now, it's a circle on the wall. Yes, we're going to do a whole bunch of with the mic on the last But hand battles. Mm -hmm. But I think it stopped making it. I think I can wait. Zoom. 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 Zoom.
So I discussed it myself, you know. So I was in there for years. So well, I, I don't see anything going on, but I see some fucking material in the, in the walls. Like, you know, how, how you see sometimes you get some mm -hmm. embedded wires and they come out. Rebar? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, you know, I mean, the niches. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and sometimes you see a bank, more like when you on that thing. You see a bank, all the wires come together. Yeah, jump it off. Jump it off. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then it has this material that you sometimes see that's behind the wall. Is that like a holy little asbestos or some type of other material that's behind the wall? The wall is somebody called concrete. He's got, he's got a column. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like something in the cabin. But do yeah. they put like a sealer where the cable comes through the duct to so stop <coughs> yeah. water from yeah. going in? Yeah, it's yeah. 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 this big funny and it's all slimy and just needs molded and put it in. You know? but, but yeah, I'm wondering at one time, there's maybe a period where some of that probably had a, a lot of asbestos in it. Probably. I know if, 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 you probably. Are, if you're on a regional one, that, if, that's the that's folks of light. They had the steam pump. Yeah. Yeah. Long time, but, but they also had these cables. Yeah. And well, some of the stuff is retraction. Yeah, some is like actually all that is had the negative return cables go through and stuff, you know? Yeah. We're, we're, we're um, regional rail, a lot of this stuff comes off the back now for, for return and stuff. Well, see, and I think basically a lot of the pencil application that was almost done with like. Without feeling loops, like you would design a modern fiber optic right. system mm -hmm. for redundancy. See, so they basically. Yeah, you can feed it from both ends. So they basically fed it like a circle. So yeah. I think they yeah. had. Something so they went to Suburban Station, and I think they had a duct run like under Arch Street or so, right. Right. where they went back again. It's it's like a, a, a um, yeah. electric line you see in the tunnel. Right. Like that, that, called duct bags. Right. Yeah, where you, you, you yeah. walk, you know, alongside the tunnel there, you know, they're actually duck lines and stuff. And See, so, but if you had a failure and come around and feed around yeah, both yeah. ends, then you would have like, yeah. a bunch of substrates all over the place. Not burning and all over the place. There's there's some way it was going to like go out to different places. Um, yeah, they're going to go with ranches. Lombard, Lombard South, yeah. now yeah. the people are from, from Walnut, yeah. Locust, the Lombard South. You can see the wall of subway like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's only two tracks there. Yeah. Four tracks yeah. come in, four tracks Yeah, but see, that's set up south of Ward Street. That's set up like a south doorway. Mm -hmm. It's so only under the one yeah. street. It's only on one side. Right. Mm -hmm. So there was space to put two more yeah. tracks yeah. and fill the yeah. compliment. That's why yeah. all the other well, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a couple of things, too, you know, if you know, but like Lord and Geary, it's so far below the ground, it's actually an upper level to go in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Once you leave Hunting Park, it just goes straight down like that. Yeah. And they, they store trains up on it. Yeah. So you got, you got two yeah. tracks south, two tracks north. And then the track comes down. See, but, but when it was there. designed, I think they had an idea that they were going to they were going go out the boulevard, yeah. like they're going to run Ninth Street, and they were going to go up Germantown yeah. Avenue. See yeah. with an elevated, they're going to yeah, go. Stop, you know, they yeah. To, so that's that. And yeah. same thing. Um, growing up, yeah, years ago, years ago, just one. Yes, but it's only one track that goes up and then back down. It's just like a star, and it actually goes. It goes up so far because <laughs> one guy got like drowned with his feet and stuff. It, it, it floods back there, you know. So it goes, it goes up like this, and then it kind of banks down like that, and it just a crust of like all dirt and stuff. So he did now. He starts walking in cold water. He's got a lot of water all over his feet and stuff. So. No, no, that's something I always worry about. Worry on there's snows in the subway, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you go yeah, over the exits, yeah. 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 yeah, you see, you see two tracks in the middle that go up, right? And then if you're on the surface, there's like a gas station that's over there. You know, all three so goes goes up yeah. the crest. And then it kind of goes down a little bit, like you're talking about. Right? Right, right, right. So we're at the, this is yeah. like beyond Chu. So yeah. well, what, what's the Chew. but they had the administration building, yeah, right? Right. Yeah. So I was in that. Yeah, yeah. And that that had a platform on it. Yeah. On yeah. the side. Yeah. But where where that was, the subway is about maybe eight tracks wide. Because yeah, when you had the two in the middle, sure. you had the two on the side, maybe a six, yeah. six and a half. Because two well, two yeah, two go to front. Go up, and two, four yeah, yeah, right. yeah, but there's two on the side right here. Right. And there's two on the front in the middle that go up. Right. Yeah. And there's two on this side that go up and they go up. Nah, 
they turn off this side, but that's like uh, the structure or whatever. But yeah, it's just two kind of curved that way, it's the way the curve rock, and right. the two come around. So it's just the way this Broad Street turn and stuff right there. That's that's the goal. Yeah, but there's about six tracks here, and you've got two in the middle. But the two in the middle go up just yeah. like they're doing yeah. at Erie yeah. Avenue. Right. But are, is it just a two track subway up here, or is it a four yeah. track subway? Yeah. Just two tracks. goes up on this side. 31 foot. Is it a switch like this? Um, they're, a, it? they're they're electric switches now, so they're, they're yeah, like a Michael Kessel. Um, no, the single switch goes up the ramp. Double cross every year. This is Erie Ring. Up at Erie Ring, this is double cross. It's double cross. All right. Cool. There's also a yard. It's four mm -hmm. Well, well, the not that full. Full. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is going up Erie Ring. So I think we four. Of course, the crossover is because they stay the ridge down there's scar and stuff. We go up there and sit and then we just lay over and come back down and get stuff, mm -hmm. you know. But as he's coming up the ramp for Erie, there's there's a hand fist here, there's a hand fist there. And it's just goes in like stain and stuff. And there's we have a circuit controller there to make sure that it's a total padlock and you know, something you can go. It's electrically, but you have the manual operator. It's just a hand fist switch here for Erie. Yeah, here, here's a diagram. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, so it's just the two tracks. Right, right, right. 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 not six. Yeah, just two. Yeah. So what? What? This is, huh? This is This is administration. This is this is administration. This is right here. Yeah. Yeah. What right there? What's that mean? Because I, 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 I can see these two going up, right? But this one here goes over them all on the outside. No, I don't know how old. I don't know how accurate that is. See, that's for post. See, for North East Extension. Yeah, so that, that, but that's here. That's that's for you. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna call this here. I got an early morning. This is all. See you guys. I'm not sure what this dollar long means. Well, for post, for post. So this is this is from us. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is yeah. This is that's not the tower. Yeah, that's not the tower. He's not there anymore. The tower. This is this is going to be close. Yeah, this is all. Yeah, the all the signal that he has. Yep. See, but this is day is what you say. There are ramps here. See, here's a day because there are buildings here. That's our ramp. See, and that's the ramp is just the one track that goes up. What goes up? Right, that's it. Right there. Okay. Okay. This is all pretty cool. That, that's a real switch. It's still there. So, you know, so this is either go these switches are the ones. They're not there no more. 31, 33, which is what they But they they get all kinds of metal filings and stuff, and they're like crossing over there. So, we put the insulated ones. So, up here is a two-track switch. Right. Tunnel is two-track switch. Yeah. 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 This apparently is what the they are. Yeah. There's a ridge. Yeah. Yep, yep. I know. Here we, here we so, so, this is it. There's just the one track here. Right. But apparently, yeah. it looks like the structure is wide enough that they could have put a track. There's a track come here and a track coming down here. This, this, this is the way there. Yeah, that's right. Right. But, 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 but there's a ramp that goes yeah. off, but there's no right. tracks. No. Uh, yeah. So that's what that dotted line yeah. is. That dotted yeah. line yeah. shows that there's a ramp yeah. and there's yeah. tracks. Right. This curves over. Yeah, there's no, there's no track here. No, it's only this. It's only go up. This is this is track one, two, three, four. So right. this I never seen that in the tunnel signal. No, 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 just like cut out. See the yeah. 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 Oh. cut out there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, you know that probably is. See, so that's it. If they were to extend north, then they build that connection, and that's where they could go in to get out of Fern Rock in their yard. Yeah, it wasn't a station. Yeah, it wasn't a station, it was just a yard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so they were to go on up, they were supposed to go up, up towards the right. Stenton Avenue. Okay, and turn on the right. Okay, yeah. yeah. Old guys. That's yeah. why they go on the old guys. It's like real salt. Yeah. So we can make that turn. Yeah. See, so the yeah. ramps were there since they roughed out the work there. So they would have had a junction up here. Yeah. Yeah, they they to, yeah. to go up towards that. Yeah. So, so this building, I always wonder about that building. I was in there. 
I was just doing it there. That's stuff set around. over the tracks. Uh -huh. You can tell I did this and talk about creepy because yeah. I did this in life. It's the first the yeah. first thing I have is a 12 to 8 on Tuesday and Wednesday all that stuff. So what we did at nighttime, like two o'clock in the morning, you know, because all the bombs and stuff, because this is all random stuff, you know. It was it was like they told everybody just to leave. They left all their all their belongings, everything else, they just closed off the place. So we can we came from the subway. There's a sub there's a little mini substations right here. Yeah. And the signal shop used to be here at one time until yeah. I went to Fermo. But you can actually go from this subway and walk through the basement and go up the administration building because we did have yeah. now it's just all it's not there. But we did this. See, now. but I think the street curve, the grain is not wide. Right. So the curve mm -hmm. is actually sort of here. Mm -hmm. So the subway really goes under that property. Yeah. 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 He said the building is actually. Yeah. This is, we took the. Yeah, there's two switches here. Okay, yeah. that's that's when I was saying we put the stretch track. Right. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. these now this is track one, two, three, four. four right? Yeah. So yeah. this continues out, that continues out like yeah. that, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's it. But that's what they did when we put they're called plinths or something. They're they're concrete, no ties. They just have pumps of concrete like this big. And you can walk in the middle with dummy buildings and stuff. But they poured concrete, they had concrete truck up on the surface with pipes. And they just brought the concrete down and they just had all these guys that pour concrete. They have rebar they coming up. So this is what you call this is where I had this prep in 1984. This is when summer was born. Yeah, so here's where it happened. Yeah. It's good, but this is not accurate. He's trying so to this is it. the only avenue. See, this is what the upper level is. And there's a substation up there. Right? Yeah. It's oh, there's a wall. If you, that, you can hear it when you walk up there. Just run yeah. There's a substation. Yeah. But then we tap off for because our, our power is 600 volts DC. So we have these things called the heat pump in the track area. That's what we get. We return track to the track to the substation. Oh, up there, huh? Well, that's one of the See, but the substation yeah, used to be ball. used to be on like the PQC substation, it used to be on like Elder Street or so. That's what I was about to ask you. I think yeah. I where that was on, on the surface. Because I know there's a whole bunch of grates mm -hmm. that you can see in the street mm -hmm. up there. Mm -hmm. I think it's all right next to the park I think it's going to be up there. Mm -hmm. What's up? I have no problem. So, whatever, I would come up. I'm trying to see how. If they were going to extend the subway to the boulevard, yeah, well, yeah they have to get past that freight track. And that freight track, you know, the red metal freight track. Yeah, yeah, see, here's the thing. Here's how they were going to extend the boulevard. See, so that's uh, the running railroad. Oh, they were going to do it underground. Oh, here's no, no, but I thought they were going to do it here. No. No, that they go up. Out. Yeah, because this is this is not going to work with the elevation. Right. So they were going to do it. Oh, man. I was told they were going to do well, that's here. Hey, here's here's the year. Yeah, this is here. Here. yeah, but I don't think they were going to bring it up. So I don't know. You've got to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This, this is what they're going to do. Yeah. They're going to send that up and pull it from Ireland. No. No, the one from Ireland, that was supposed to go up Staten Avenue. Is that what I was saying? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we that. I was, I was so, so this this remains that remains, right? So yeah. it's the same thing here. Right. And I don't know, does this get from the this stays alone? Yes, it almost looks like this way, it actually goes under everything and then comes back up again. Right. I was trying to figure out how are they going to get, if they're going to use the upper one, how are they going to get over the red and red track and get out of the ground at the same time? So this makes more sense if you're actually going to go under the red track. Wow. And come up, I guess, about a park somewhere. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and go through Honey Park. Yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to do this, though. <laughs> yeah, we want to do that. I'll tell you some horror stories I used to see. Yeah. Most of the track reunion. 
Well, there's, there's a pretty scary. Well, I don't know if you got the Ridge Avenue on that thing as well. There's Ridge Avenue. We closed up a lot of the stations. Oh, yeah. You know? And there's one, there's one station, looks like the Twilight Zone. It's a huge station because they did a lot of uh, manufacturing stuff back then. But there was Spring Garden. Yeah. But you can stand like that Twilight Zone. They're in a track, the platforms up that high. <coughs> they rolled up the station. So on one side, it looks like it's probably it's all black and you know, just gold hanging there and stuff. You know, there's also some lights and stuff. But, you know, and there's actually a homeless people that live up in there. Because hmm. you're walking, you're like, oh, I'm like, oh, what was that? Stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. It'll wake you up real fast, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, and then you just, you just got to be careful. I would see, especially when it rains, people don't want to wait outside. So they walk in the subway. I want to go to the next station too. So I'm walking and there's a guy on like track four. I'm like, okay. So I'm just watching him as he's going way, 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 way down. It's like, all right, you're going to get far enough down. Not going to bother you. <laughs> I walk in the track too. Right? Yeah, they did. They just walked in the track. There's nothing going on. The back then, yeah. trains ran every half hour at night. So a lot of stuff can happen in a half hour. You know? Yeah. yeah. Something needs a lot of uh, police. Or they're hiring police and they can't find enough. Mm -hmm. I, I guess they're a real railroad for this. They can carry on. Yeah. Oh, is that book in his hand? No, did that, did the that show on um, the race street subway? They have rights to arrest out of state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably so. My son, my son <laughs> was telling me that. Probably so. The, the, we didn't like the police they, force they would ride there. the train, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter where the train was, the state mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah, that's where I'm on the street. Yeah. Never good. Instead of 40 years old. Hey, you start drinking, one. you start drinking, and you're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> By the time you get to Virginia, <laughs> you're carrying yeah. on a ruckus in yeah. the <laughs> club truck. I just know I've seen a lot of stuff. The police yeah. come up and hey. What's going on? You want to get off? You want to get off the train here? Yeah. Yes. Off, right? <laughs> that's that's firm on that. Yeah. Nothing, on, nothing at Race Street. I don't know where it's going. Yeah. That's that's going south. So. Right. See, but this is it. That basically. This stuff is all on like the east side. Right. Seeing they could build a complementary one for four tracks, they put it like here. Yeah. Say so it'd be here. See, so that would be, see, that's why they all curve like this way. Mm -hmm. so, well, that's an Ethan Mark. Yeah. I also wondered how that worked because the Ace of Market is a way to get from here to there. It's a ramp. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. See, yeah. Here it is. Yeah. So you come in and there's a ramp down. Yeah. That goes to the lower level. Well, there only was the lower level originally. See, here's a race fine on Ridge. Oh, I see. So that's that's where it stops there. But this is the upper level. They see they put the upper level in. Right. So Patco could have the two tracks below and be separated. And be separated. And no, be separated. Patco, yeah. we with Patco. We did the back and stuff. That's eighth and that's the Ridge Avenue stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was asking. We actually, about they actually disconnected from that. There was a yeah. The 19th was there. Yeah. We can go over the. You know, the bridge. Back to back up. We actually used to give them power and stuff too, which is like this. Yeah, I was curious about the connection. You can kind of assume that the way it went down. They, they screwed with us and we screwed with them. Okay. Yeah. So at some point, you know, with the Ridge Avenue subway, so Eighth and Market. Right from the ridge, you know, because the market point was here and the Ridge Avenue subway just stopped. There's one part of it, you know, where Gimbal and stuff used to be in the left. 
So there was a switch you can go over to Paco. Yeah. 19 switch. And they have a lower left. Paco's had a lower left. So we were on the upper level. So with the Ridge Avenue was. But everybody was on the lower level originally. Um, the upper um, level was built to turn the eighth and market trains. Right. So Patco could have their own separate system. Yeah. But, but SEPTA had that originally. And we, and we, we were up to that. From one point we had. But that. they, they we left had, like the one direction that let the connection be. Yeah. We had, because I know a guy who was out on the bridge and stuff, you know, he said it was pouring down rain or snow or whatever. He's telling me he's doing a little snow. Whatever, it's got to But um, we, we, we our, our traction power, because um, it's nasty stuff, it's 600 volts DC. DC will hold you. Yeah. yeah. And it's, 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 about, it's about 2,000 amps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have things called impedance spots. So where you'll have a section of rail, we have insulated joints, because that's where a track circuit would be from one to the next. So to couple the DC, we have this big coil. Yeah. It's a bond. Yeah. Goes from here to here. So your lead side leads go connect both sides, and there's center taps go between the two. Yeah. Our track wires go on top of that. Yeah. But at Ethan Ridge, back there decided one day. You know, to like disconnect traction power from us. We were feeding them. We had a substation. We were feeding them. So I'm like, oh yeah. So we fed them signal power. So on Broad Street, it was 4600 for signal power. Market Frank was 2300. It's now comes from comes from station lighting power because there's all kinds of backups. So we're hooked to them stuff now. But so they did that. And they, they put up a cycle of fence and cut all the beam bomb wires and stuff and disconnect them. Like you idiots, where's this traction power going to go to? You just can't like. Decide like you're done, you know. So like, okay. So we cut power to the lower level. So they had no signals, no switches. Like, no, that's what I was doing. Now you play with the big boys, you know. So we, <laughs> so we killed them too. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a whole good one because they're like, we're not having signals. We're having power track circuits are going crazy. We're like, uh -huh. I don't know. We start walking down, and it's like, where did all this wall come from? It's like one fence, and who cut these bars? I'm like, no, oh, okay, no problem. So don't put power downstairs. You're done. Now well, eventually they you know, figured it out. <laughs> yeah, you don't decide to do that in the one way. What's the single power? Fifty hertz. Usually twenty-five cycles. The West End. You